Hi guys, this is Ryan and Claire's World of Fun. Have you checked out the part one of our Wit Sunday travel vlog? In today's video, I'm going to take you on a journey to the beautiful Daydream Island. And I'm going to show you the 10 best things to do on Daydream Island. Number one, a walk around the island. Daydream Island is a very small island, much smaller than the Hamilton Island. You could walk around the entire island and within an hour. The view is just so beautiful everywhere you look. There are lots of kangaroos and wallabies living on the island. They are very friendly and super cute. We spotted three big turtles while we were walking along the ocean. It's actually very hard to video them because they just duck their head up for a second and then dive back down. There's a small chapel for small sized weddings. And there's a rainforest walk with spectacular lookouts. You could access to Lover's Cove from the resort. We'll talk a bit more about this place later. And we found alphabets, corals, Number two, public fish feeding show. There's a free 30 minute fish feeding show every morning. You can just take a seat and watch the marine biologists feed the fish. They also form paired ones, so they'll hang out with one rabbit fish for the rest of their life. It doesn't have to be like a sexual relationship, it could just be their best mate and they will stay together forever. Um, we also have <laughs> Number three, kayaking. You must try this, I loved it. So we booked a guided kayaking and fish feeding tour. It took us a bit over an hour and we kayaked all the way to Lover's Cove and fed some fish. If you look closer, you can see some fish jumping out for food and a baby turtle. We actually went out kayaking again just by ourselves and we spotted humpback whales. These whales are so playful and they hang around for hours. It feels so amazing just watching them. Number four, visit the Living Reef Centre and the guided fish feeding. <laughs> this is a paid tour. You could explore the Living Reef Centre, look and feel the sea life at the centre, and you could feed the rays and sharks. Bye. 
This is my first time feeding the rays. I enjoy it so much and I recommend hey, this activity. Fortunately in Australia the population is actually doing pretty well. These little spiders are actually really big. They're actually really big. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. And you can see that Frickles actually has two bars. Wet cardboard. Here's the bubble. This one you might want to touch is a little bit less intimidating. This is a blue link here. It looks like a bathroom ornament, doesn't it? <laughs> they do have sensory systems and all that. This is a passion fruit sea cucumber. So this enters its mouth, this enters its butt, and it actually breathes out of its butt. A little funny. <laughs> I, just saw it spit out I saw it spit out water from Yeah, it's soggy loaf of garlic bread is how I would describe the feeling of this guy. So Number five, underwater observatory. It's so relaxing and beautiful just watching the fish and the corals. If you look closely, there's actually so much going on in this tank. And Dory says, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, 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 swimming. I tried a free meditation session here. Not bad, I liked it. And check out the view from the bathroom. Oh God, you're just gonna get people sitting on the floor <laughs> Number six, take a half day tour to Whitehaven Beach. Oh my god, this is unreal. The water is so clear. Can you see the shadows of the fish? I had a go on the paddle boat. It's not easy to start with, but I worked it out. And I love it. That day was a record low tide day and we saw a woman just walking in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> oh, it feels popular. Ouch, yeah. It's very shallow out there. How fascinating. Here we are, I'll, uh, I'll just spin around a little bit uh, while we're out here. Uh, a little bit of a view of the uh, Isula on the French uh, Shoal and uh, the very rare appearance that we get to see the level. Number seven. Lover's Cove. Lover's Cove is just beautiful at every time of the day. And it's the best location on the island for sunset. This is the video that my mum recorded at Lover's Cove like six years ago. Look at all the beautiful fish. The video quality was bad because my mum was holding the phone in one hand and my sister in the other hand. Similar shape, the grey one, in between the moles. Ah, the good old days.
Number eight, enjoy the pools on the island. There are quite a few very nice swimming pools on the island. There are salt water pools on the south end of the island. And there's a relaxing spa. Number nine, close up with the rooms. Look at all these cute and cuddly locals on the island. And we play with them every day on the island. They're very friendly and so fluffy. This naughty kangaroo got into the resort and left some blueberries. <gasps> I pooped! Ew. Number 10, last but not least, enjoy the food on the island. The Daydream Island Resort does really good buffet breakfast. It's better than what we had on Hamilton Island in my opinion. We had a few meals at this restaurant called Inkstone. The food is really good. I enjoyed my pizzas. But I didn't enjoy the staring. I always feel like somebody's watching me and I have no privacy, whoa. Last day on the island, we got up early and had a walk. The island looks so beautiful early in the morning. It's so dreamy. And that's the moment that I understood where the name came from. Daydream Island. We had a session at the kids club and it was very fun. This is the turtle I made at kids club and I named it Myrtle. The kids club staff took us on a walk and we spotted lots of fish and a Komodo dragon. This is the end of our eight day holiday to the Wit Sundays. We had wonderful experiences at the Wit Sundays and I will definitely come back here again. There's still so many things we could do at the Wit Sundays and it's on my bucket list for next time. Thank you so much for watching our videos and see you next time. Bye.